In this video, I'm going to talk something about quarantining in an app within the Center of Excellence Starter Kit. Now, what do you mean by quarantining an app? So quarantining an app is basically means isolating an app from the live functionality. That means that app is uh, placed into some location so that uh, end user will not have access to that app. And uh, unless the app complies, these particular app will reside in the quarantine section uh, till the time you make it compliant to adhere to the organizational policy. Okay, so it is basically, I'd say like, uh, say deactivating an app or disallowing an app from being published in the wider store within your organization. Okay, now uh, to understand the process, what you need to do is like, you need to go into the core component center of excellence solution and within that under apps, we will look into a couple of apps over here. Okay, uh, now a couple of apps which we may look over here is uh, one is Power Platform Admin View, okay, uh, and then CEO is set up an upgrade visit process. And uh, there's another app uh, which is called as a developer compliance, which uh, is part of, let me go into the governance component and show you that app listing so under governance component we have this developer compliance center app okay so we are going to look into three apps now okay for the quarantining process now first app power platform admin view now power platform admin view uh, is a model driven app which will list on all the infrastructure within your power platform uh, environment now under one of the section for Power Apps apps, you will see the list of Canvas and model driven app. Now remember, quarantining process is only for apps, okay? It, it is not applicable for any other section. Uh, there is an exception to it. Uh, I will go through that when I will talk about uh, something about environments, okay? Now first, let's focus on apps. Now within apps, you have Canvas and model driven app. Now let me navigate to say one of the app canvas app okay now once you navigate to the app using the power platform admin view section uh here on the top bar you will see something called as quarantine an app okay now why would you quarantine an app now think about it say, say this app okay if this app does not follow organizational guidelines or maybe this app is built by someone and that person has left and we don't know what that app does and who is the owner for that app or maybe that app was working fine, but then eventually it didn't get any much update and then people were not using it for a while and uh, it was not adding any value. So that also can be one of the reasons to quarantine an app. Third thing is like uh, maybe that app may not follow regulatory guidelines or the compliance guidelines set by the organization. So these are some of the parameters through which you can judge and you can say that, hey, this app is now uh, uh, be a good candidate to quarantine okay now here if you click on quarantine app now remember this is a canvas app okay so i'm i'm quarantining a canvas app okay so when i click on here it will give me a warning it says quarantining this app means that the user this app is shared with will no longer be able to launch the app so if this app is shared with numerous users those users will not be able to launch the app okay makers will be able to edit the app okay so you can edit the app and work with someone to bring the app back into compliance so you need to follow some practices to bring that app into compliance either by updating the app itself or maybe updating the metadata related to justification business justification business value and whom this app is targeted to okay now uh, again i'll click here quarantine app the moment i do that this app will be marked as quarantine. So if you see here, app quarantined, okay? Now, this app is now marked as, okay? And I also receive an email, if you see here. Now, if I'm the owner for that app, I will receive an email which says that your app has been quarantined. Uh, you own an app that's currently not compliant and has been quarantined. That means your admin needs further details to ensure your app is compliant okay uh again it gives you the same instruction was the app is quarantine users you have shared your app can no longer open it however the makers can edit it okay 
now how to make it compliant there are steps which are provided like either you can provide a description to the app provide a business justification uh iterate the solutions dependencies uh select the business impact select data classification uh, provide a mitigation plan and you know those sort of information now these all information can be done through power platform admin view or there are other application within the center of excellence starter kit through which you can make your app compliant okay now coming back to this now let me refresh this page let me save this first okay so i'm saving this record scary 0 to april 2023 now, once I save this record, now you see here this button has changed to unquarantine. So now, if I want to unquarantine this app, okay, uh, I can do that. If I click over here, then I can click on unquarantine app. What it will do, it is, it will say, it is releasing the app from quarantine means the user, this app is shared with, will be able to launch the app again. Okay, so again, it's like undoing the uh, quarantining process. Now, I won't do that over here, but. Uh, uh, I'll show you what what happens uh, from a center of excellence starter kit perspective when you quarantine an app. Okay. Now, before we go into that, now we have seen an example of Canvas app. Let's go into model driven app. Okay. Now, I have this model driven app called as model app. Now, if you see here, you don't see any option, right, to quarantine. So, technically, you can't quarantine a model driven app. Okay. You can quarantine a canvas app but not a model driven app okay under governance you know uh, like uh, the one the app which we just marked as quarantine now here you can provide business justification access management dependency so these are the things which we can provide and tell the admin that this app is compliant okay now this is a model app so it doesn't make sense over here but then if you go into say canvas app okay let me navigate to the Canvas app, one of the Canvas apps, a first responsive app over here. Now, here under governance, now this app is not quarantined. However, let's assume if you have quarantined this app. Now, admin is to go into governance and then try filling this information either through this form or through the different app, which allows you to fill up those justifications. Okay. Now, uh, this is how you basically uh, make the app uh, compliant and uh, you can have those uh, quarantining process removed okay now coming back to the third app which is coe setup and upgrade visit process now here you will see one tile called as compliance process now what it says it says set up the compliance process component to ask makers of highly shared or highly used resource for further compliance details okay now this is one part of the compliance to make your app compliant like if an admin requests for some more information uh, to make your app compliant then you can uh, you know do some actions around that so if i click on here configure this feature it will ask me to do some action so it will say missing prerequisite let me refresh this okay uh, and then uh, if i click on next over here it says exempt environments from this process so i can exempt the environment from quarantining process over here so i can so these are the list of environments which i have and these are the switches which i can turn on and off i can say this environment is exempt from the compliance process and say this ex environment is exempt from the quarantining process as well so i can mark those higher level uh, settings over here and then uh, i can get uh, rid of the compliance and uh, quarantining process for my say production environment okay if i don't want uh, someone to tamper with those particular settings okay now again if you click on next you will see some information like quarantining apps after x days of non-compliance so what does the setting means is basically you are telling that after say one you shouldn't put one you should put say maybe 30 or something or maybe seven now it says say if i put seven over here it says once the seven days has passed after the non-compliance of that particular app or if that mark app has been marked as non-compliant and after seven days or x days whatever type number you type over here then you go ahead and quarantine the app so that quarantining process will be automated and then uh, user will receive an email that that particular app is quarantined so that's how you do this uh, settings 
Yes, so the last segment for this activity is on the developer compliance center app. Now this developer compliance center app is a part of um, the governance component. So if you go into the governance component solution and if you click on developer compliance center, uh, you can launch this model driven app. Now, if you see in the model driven app, you have a list of Canvas apps, okay? So we are focusing on Canvas app at the moment. So within Canvas app, if I uh, click on the menu, then I'll be able to see all the Canvas app listed for my organization. And uh, if I click on all, it will list down all the apps which are there. Now, you might see a couple of app which have been marked as quarantined. Uh, is all listed over here okay now this symbol indicates this app is quarantined this app needs republishing and there are some information messages missing now this one is just quarantined and flagged as inactive and this is quarantined and republish is needed so all those different settings based on whatever switch you have turned on uh, it will show you that now if you go inside this app and um, if you want to make this app compliant then you need to fill in some information okay so if i click on support details i can put some business justification okay so um, say for customer service okay uh, and then some some information and then based on that i can just say that this uh, uh, this app is compliant as per my understanding admin will have a look into it and then they can release the app from quarantining process so what i've done is like as an end user i have made uh, i put some information on the support details and i have notified admin that hey admin this app is looks uh, okay to me i filled up basic information why don't you go ahead and uh, make this app uh, say uh, from quarantine to uh, unquarantined process so that this app is now released to the wider set of audience so that's it folks. This is how you basically quarantine an app within the center of excellence starter kit. Thanks for watching.